cream flavor trick. I wonder how that one was done. At first I was told banana was the flavor, so I did have to have between 6 and 12 cards. I need at least 6 because I have to spell out banana. She needs a topping, so 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 or 12 would be good, but over 12 the topping would be too big. It would exceed the size of the ice cream scoop. So you have to work with the length of the name you're given and use between that number and twice that number. If somebody said vanilla, vanilla has 7 letters, so between 7 and 14 cards would work. If somebody says strawberry, strawberry is 10 letters. So between 10 and 20 cards would work. But you only have to estimate, it doesn't have to be exact. So for banana, I need, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards. I don't even know how many I have here, it doesn't matter. Now, I mix them up, or so it seems, and then I had cards counted out for the flavor. Counted out three times. So let's do vanilla this time. V-A-N-I-L-L-A, drop. V-A-N-I-L-L-A, drop. That's the spirit. You do it three times over. And then I say to her, press down hard on the top card. And I say, turn it into it. I casually name a card. Of course, I know what that card's going to be because of the mathematics. We'll get back to that in a moment. So I say, turn it into whatever it is. She turns it over and is amazed that it's that card because it looks like everything was jumbled at the beginning. But take a closer look. When we did the trick a few minutes ago, the card that ended up on top was the Ace of Hearts. The mathematical secret comes in two parts. Number one, we have to have between 6 and 12 cards. That I've explained. Number two, the card I want to end up on the top has to start on the bottom. So I arranged it in spite of all the shuffling that this card was on the bottom. Now how did I do that? Actually, I just peeked at the bottom card before we started shuffling. So I'll do it right now in front of you. And this time I'll let you see it. Jack of Hearts. I can see that it's a Jack of Hearts. She can't. She doesn't know it's the bottom card. Then I do the shuffling. How did I do that? I actually started by slipping the Jack of Hearts to the top. Then I turned the cards over and I spread them. But I didn't spread as far as the one I don't want her to see. So I say, look, the cards are all different. The Jack of Hearts is there, but nobody has seen it yet. And then I close up the fan, she's convinced the cards are different, and I slip it back to the bottom, quite brazenly. And then I do something like this, I say, tell me when to stop mixing. The card I want is on the bottom, I can do this all day long, and it doesn't matter. She says stop at some point. Actually, the Jack is back on the bottom where I want it. And amazingly, because of the mathematics, it will come to the top. Let's try it for vanilla. V-A-N-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. The jack is going in as the bottom of the first topping, but I'm the only person who knows that. V-A-N-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. I'm not quite sure where it is, but I'm not worried, because I know it's coming back in a moment. V-A-N-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Hopefully, if the mathematics is correct, it's on the top. So then I say, press down hard on the top card, please. Turn it into... Oh, I don't know. How about the Jack of Hearts? It's the Jack of Hearts, because it started on the bottom. It's going to end up on the top after three scoops and toppings. And that's the ice cream trick. Hope you enjoyed.